goes again. It could happen. You're like, how many stabbings? Nice. How many stabbings? You know, like I'm Jewish. Hey, we're back, kids. What's the question, isn't it? No smoke in here. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Welcome back to the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. Uh, we are pleased, very pleased right now to be joined by Pat McManaman, an old friend of mine, longtime colleague at ESPN. He's covered Cleveland sports for such a long time. He's really plugged in. He's dialed in. He's got some strong thoughts. And we particular. gave him a really small chair. Small chair, yeah. We yeah, gave him a really small chair. At least yeah. we have a chair. When Pat, Pat and I talk, have talked many times at Brown's training camp over the years, and there was never any chairs there because they didn't right. care about taking care of us, mm -mm. right? And, and then Pat and I would badmouth the rest. No, he never badmouthed. <laughs> I would badmouth the rest of the media, uh -huh. and he would, you know, put up with me. You don't like, in general, other media members? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Outside, I mean, I don't. Well, I want to. I'm that. always <laughs> leery of media of of yeah. our fraternity brothers Ripping and sisters. Others. Yeah, whenever I hear s someone tear down another member of the media. I'm Little, I look at them a little differently. Like, right. like what Tony Grossi did to Aditi, you know. Right. I, I, which I is just, why, you which know. is why I, I – whatever. I, you don't have to worry about me, Terry. I don't know anybody. You don't know anybody. <laughs> we can, I'm the kid from But we can too. all agree that Anthony Lima is a world-class pud, right? <laughs> no, Lima's my He's buddy. a pud. I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. No, I'm Lima's kidding. awesome. That's right, why um, I picked him. I wouldn't I pick know, him. I know. So, Pat, <laughs> Pat, Pat welcome though. to the program. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank you. I, I, I want to start by um, going to an area that I know you have really strong thoughts on, and that's um, the whole Deshaun Watson situation. You have strong thoughts on the Browns' decision to bring him in in the first place. Get everybody up to speed that may not be up to speed on, on where you are on that and tell us why. Deep breath. Yeah, deep breath. <laughs> deep breath. Football-wise, it's not a discussion. In fact, a year ago when he asked for a trade, this is before all this stuff came out about allegations, I would have traded for Baker Mayfield for him right away. I would, he's better. Sure. He's a better quarterback. He's a great player. He's an excellent. Uh, he does a lot of different things. That's not a debate. But then all the other stuff came out. And to me, uh, the way I look at it, and this is a little bit of what our politics is now too, it's a question of values. And what are your values? What, what values do you want your team to represent? What do you want to say to the community that you stand for? And what's the cost of selling your soul? Um, I just think that I know these are allegations, but there's serious penalties for filing a false claim in court. I mean, there is criminal penalty. There's civil penalties that could be tripled if it proves to be false. And we're not talking one or two that may be false. We're talking 24, soon to be more, we guess. And the question I would be asking if I'm in the Cleveland Browns right now is, we did our best to improve the quarterback position. We, we bent over backwards. We ran a, a marathon to try to make it better. But is this what we want our team to represent to this community? Is this kind of behavior OK? And we'll see what happens in court. Yeah. But that doesn't mean the women are lying. And if you look at statistics nationally, and I got a whole bunch here I could read to you, women are not believed in, in assault and cases or whatever case it is. I mean, coercion, whatever you want to call it. They're, they're, they're not. And when they make a claim, they have to relive the whole thing again. And then they go through the shame of all the questions from the police. And, and that's a fact. And to say that because he wasn't charged with a crime, means they're, they're not telling the truth, is that's, a, that's just not true. They still could be telling the truth. It's two people in a room, and that's, that's a hard case to prove. So maybe that's why they didn't charge him with a crime. Now we got this, a woman who may be from Atlanta, maybe filing, and maybe that opens up a criminal case We don't case really know Atlanta. where she's from. We just know that she was referred to Busby, Tony Busby, who's the attorney representing the 24 women that have already filed. We know that she has been re uh, referred to Busby from an Atlanta attorney. I, could, I think like you, when I saw that. You assume it's Atlanta. I, I said, now, wait a minute. Does that mean that she's from Atlanta and perhaps that's a new jurisdiction? Or is this a woman that lived in Houston and, and whatever impropriety she alleges took place in Houston, and but she knew an attorney in Atlanta, so she reached out to him who then said, I can't touch this. I'm in Atlanta. I'll refer you to Tony Busby. I don't know. that We don't know, do we? I don't know. We don't. We won't. But it'll be filed. I guess you no. Know, no one Busby. And I, don't ask me to explain the Texas. What goes on in Texas between these attorneys? And yeah. that's beyond all of us, I think. But I keep going back to the same question: What kind of values does this team, which we always hear is is a community asset, and that they they're part of the community and they're an important part of of the whole culture, what kind of values do they want to present 
to the city of Cleveland and Northeast Ohio and to all Browns fans. Well, if I were them right now, and this is, this is me, mm-hmm. uh, I'd be looking at letting him go. Releasing him outright. Releasing him. I'd hey. say we made a mistake. We thought we did our homework. There's new stuff that has come out. We don't want to present these kind of values. And we, we understand that you know, it's going to hurt the team. We understand the salary cap implications. We understand he has a chance to clear his name. But this even is, if these are not the from, kinds of things we want associated with our team. Even if they do that and they do get out from under the contract, which some agents have looked at this contract and said, there is an out for the Browns if there they is. choose to exercise it. Even if they go down that road, they're still out the draft picks that they gave up, which still sets the franchise back years. Sure did. If not a decade. Which in hindsight, and I don't know what, if I have a choice between Matt Ryan for a third round pick or all these other draft picks for Deshaun Watson and the baggage that came with it, I'm going with Matt Ryan. I'm keeping my first round picks. I'm yeah. trading a third round pick, getting a guy. Even though Ryan's not a long term solution, Correct. he's obviously a, a, towards the end of his career. Correct. Okay. G. Bush, you look like you wanted to jump uh, in. Yeah, so I, I agree with you. The allegations are quite strong. Um, but I, I will ask you this question. So when do the allegations kind of overshadow what the truth is, right? So the only way we find out the truth is if you go, you say, hey, let's let's try to do a trial. If criminal charges are, are, are wrong, the district attorney, the grand jury can say yes or no, they want to take the case. So they didn't take the case in that one. And of course, there's still li- civil uh, litigation that you can go to. But why not withhold judgment until after the civil cases um, have gone, you know, and, and, and exhausted themselves? Because you, you are right. There could be some information that comes out. But from a lot of people's uh, perspective, it's like we are, we are saying he's guilty now because of so many allegations. That's not... I don't believe that that's the way the United States works. Okay, well, you, here. Can, you can have allegations, but I still get to prove myself, and I should have to wait until see what the outcome of the civil trial, trials are. I apologize for interrupting. My comeback would be, why are we withholding judgment on what the women are saying is true or not true? Well, I think he's saying just suspend all judgment. Yeah, all like, of don't, it. don't necessarily but I don't believe think, or disbelieve yeah. the women. Why, but would also, one, why would they put their name? Why would I mean, they're, they're on HBO. They're putting their name and their face out there. They're putting their whole lives at risk. Why would they take that risk? There's a lot of people that do a lot of things that we don't have clarity about, right? Um, there's lots of people who, who said things that may not be true. There's people who've said things that were true and it came out the person was lying. My part is mm-hmm. the only thing that we can do as adults is to say we have a way to figure these things out. It's through the court system. Now, I don't like the court system all that much because sometimes the court system has unequal outcomes. We know that. My thing is, I have to go to the criminal. I can go to the civil. Me as an adult, I know it's uncomfortable because I want them to play. I know it's uncomfortable as a fan because I want to know what my team's going to do. But as a human being and as an adult, I have to understand that certain things take more time. So go through the 23 cases, look at them one on one individually, and then come out on the other end of saying, this is what I, where I come out at. That, that's, I, yeah. that's my question. I, I think there's a lot of complicated aspects of it, some that we're qualified to talk about and some that we're not. I would say, though, that if you think about the justice system, you have two groups of people that have often been screwed by the justice system. Mm-hmm. One is black people, mm-hmm. and one is women mm-hmm. that accuse men of, of, of these type of things. Mm-hmm. Both of those groups have been screwed. And in this case, you have both of those groups against each other. Which make you know, to put it in a simple term, so it makes it very complicated mm-hmm. because some people are like, women always get screwed. I'm going to believe them, and some people are like, black people always get screwed in the courts. I'm going to believe him. So it puts you in a tricky spot. You're like, well, I don't know. I don't know what to believe. But the reality is, whether we're where Pat is, or whether we're where G is, or I, or J, or whatever, we are all making judgments. None of us are staying totally biased. We all believe what we believe. It, it seems obviously Pat believes the women. G, you, you seem to believe Deshaun Watson. I want Deshaun Watson to play. I'm not against him being on Do the Browns. Do you want him to play if it's proven in court that there were there was wrongdoing? Like if if we if we okay, get guilty yes. if we get guilty verdicts. Yes. And I'm, I'm just say one. Yes. Are, are you, do you still want him to play for the Browns? As as much as it would pain me internally in some ways, I'm not going to be a phony. Yes, I would still want him to play. And this is as I mentioned before something that I have changed my mind on in recent years. Because, like I said earlier, 
I did not want Kareem Hunt on the Browns. I did not want the Bengals to draft Joe Mixon. When the Cubs first traded for Aroldis Chapman, I was like, I don't really want this. But as years have gone, what we have seen in, in the public is so much bad behavior from athletes, from politicians, at famous people in general, right? We've seen a ton of bad behavior. And it seems to me that athletes are punished more than anybody else. And they're put as a higher standard. So if everybody else is... Ultimately, if, if Deshaun Watson did these things, if he did, and he goes to jail, I got no sympathy for him. I, I'm like, if the league decided to ban him permanently, I wouldn't rip the... If, they, if, if it turns we, criminal if, and, if, and he goes right, to jail. Right. If, if, if they, so that's your line. Yes. Criminal, if, jail, but no... no. Even if he was charged criminally, even if some and he went to jail and the league didn't ban him, I would still be at this point okay with the Browns signing him, and that is a total departure from where I was. Well, you know, but ultimately, if the league decides to kick him out permanently because, you know, for somehow we know for sure he's guilty, then I would be okay with that too. But the but the reality is that in most walks of life, guys are not kicked out permanently, and as a fan, you're left to decide. Well, what are my options here? And if your op- if you choose, Pat chooses, or any fan chooses, hey, I'm disgusted by Watson. I'm not watching this team. I'm, I I have no problem with people taking that tone. It's an individual choice. But I also think it's unfair for people that feel that way to tell others they have to feel that way too. I think everybody's got to make their individual choice. Okay, Mike, you set up. You really. You- that's all right. I, I'm just gonna. I'm. You guys are touching on a lot of things I was gonna say, but we're all on a spectrum. That's the point. I mean, yes. everybody is on a spectrum of acceptance of this. Pass it one side, and then you have G. Bush right around here, and then there are some dudes who are way down there who are just like, I don't care what he did, put him in right now, like, who right. don't even care. We're all going to have to find our own spaces. Nobody's wrong because it's a subjective thing. That's the important thing to remember. You're not wrong for this, obviously, but my question is, as we said, there is a, a spectrum, and this isn't a gotcha or anything, but what did you? how did you respond when, with the Kareem Hunt once, once all the, when we signed Kareem Hunt? I was state of Brown's fan. That's a good question because I was thinking about that on the way down, and that's a good example of a guy who made the most of a second chance he made the most of it but you saw you saw the footage yeah you was, saw how it went it was horrifying it was, yeah it wasn't it was uh, ugly, yeah. but he redeemed himself to you somehow or did you ever consider saying i'm not following the browns right now because of that situation i was in a different world at that point in time okay <laughs> was, right. I was a different point in life. I had I, to, yeah we all changed i had a, fa- right, I had right. a family I, to support I, yeah here's another one i was not turned i was turned off by it but he has you know i, I always go back to the, and i was thinking about this too Springsteen did an interview. If you Springsteen fans here, Boo. Sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, he did 41 shots. That was controversial when it first mm-hmm. came out, and he did an interview after because he got ripped. And, and the interview said to him, "Well, what do you think of all the criticism you're getting about 41 shots?" And he said, "People are passionate about their music. I respect their feelings. Yeah, people are passionate about the Browns. So you know, I respect. People don't have to agree with me. I, I right. respect. It. I get yeah. it. But here, let me Go just ahead, throw please. these out there. Go ahead. The National Sexual Violence Resource Center." 81% of women experience some sort of sexual harassment in their life, and only 2, per, two to 10% of reported cases are false. RAIN, R-A-I-N-N, a great organization. Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. Out of 1,000 sexual assaults, 310 are reported, which means two-thirds are, do, are not reported, more right. than two-thirds, because they're afraid. Women are afraid of what sure. they go through. 50 lead to an arrest, 28 lead to felony conviction, and 25 people go to prison. That's 2.5% yeah. of 1,000. Right. I mean, you, the I mistake, understand your I, point. I get it. I respect your point totally. But are these the values, as an owner of the Browns, if I own the Browns, right. are these the values you want your team to present to the public I do and think to you the said community? Some, you did mention something uh, in passing there, important, though. And you said, when I brought up the Kareem Hunt thing, you said... Well, uh, I'm in a different position now. I, I'm not taking care of a family. I'm not, you know, because you're re- semi-retired. Right. Uh, if you were in a position still where you were reliant upon st- remaining a sports writer and still having that job, but you had to cover this Brown scene, but you also knew that your family was dependent upon that paycheck, would, you, would, you, would that give you a little more moral flexibility? I would be looking for a different position. You'd be looking for a different job still under yes. those conditions. I would be looking and for And that's putting your mouth where your mouth that's is. Good. Yeah. Well, that's, and that's and I'm, not sure, I'm not sure a lot of us would necessarily take that stance. It's admirable that you, you're, I, I, the numbers are overwhelming. There's no denying that. 
What's really difficult for me, because I learned this lesson the hard way when I was at ESPN and I, you were, I, probably all of us were at least in journalism at the time or big observers of it. There are always instances where it looks one way. It just does. You lay the facts out there and it looks one way. And the, the case that taught me to pump the brakes and to wait and just to be careful was the Duke lacrosse case. That's now, sort of like a red herring. No, it fairness. is. It is. But I, that's, I, I, that's I, so rare. I bring it up for this reason. But it happens. And everyone it, that, uses that, it. That's exactly everyone what I'm going uses it. But it happens. It is. But Mike, the, the reason I bring it up is because I can tell you that in my own personal beliefs, not anything that I ever said on ESPN mm -hmm. or ever reported, but and, and the, one of the hardest things to do, by the way, in this business is to separate your personal beliefs right. from what you say on air to be no, knowingly true. I never said this on the air, but when I heard the original case and I heard the DA right. talk, I was like, oh, my God, these kids are terrible, and they did it. But a lot of that is based upon the avalanche of history of that happening in the past. Right. Sure, that you are, but, that, so, of course, you're going to assume but, but, that but, it, but, but, like, but like, here is, Mike, I, I've, what it taught me was to take each case can't assume. individually and not assume. Right. Not assume the torrent of numbers on either side. That's fair. Either to defend Watson or to defend the women. It's because these numbers are overwhelming. But the only reason I bring it up is each case is different. And I am not saying, nor do I believe, that we have Duke lacrosse here. I'm not saying no. that. I, I think when we found out all the facts in the Duke lacrosse case, I think it was a national lesson that everybody in the media learned. This, these kids were guilty, and they were treated as such by the media in general, overall. Mm -hmm. I know in particular at ESPN, it was, it was just, if you watched any ESPN coverage at that time, you made the assumption that these kids are guilty. I just think that the lesson was, and I know you say that this is a, a, a standout case. We don't know what this one is yet. And all I'm saying is mm -hmm. what it taught me was to just wait. There's why the rush to judgment in, in, the, in the public eye, in the, the, in the court camp? of public opinion. That's what we do. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's this mantra that, well, I have a strong feeling and I've got to get it out there and truth be damned. Uh, I, the saying in journalism is, I would much rather be last and right than first and wrong. And I that's just... That's not Twitter, though. I just want... No, that's not Twitter. <laughs> and that's, in fact, Twitter is the exact opposite. Yeah. I've got one bit of information, well, guilty yeah. mm -hmm. or innocent. I just think that in this situation, I know everybody wants expediency, but the Browns want to know, what, what are we playing with? And the word is that the likely... We're going to hear word from the league around the 4th of July as to what the suspension will How be. How festive. So I, I just, I just, the only caveat I have here is we don't have all the information. No one really does. I'm not even sure the grand jury heard all of the pertinent information. I, I, I just don't know. Tony Busby alleged on 92.3 that they didn't get uh, charges handed up because the, the well, district attorney didn't the want them. We're never going to have all, well, all the information. No, let me, let but, me ask but you this. Please. Let's get more. Let's get all of the information oh, wanna, that we can. You want to dig down there... deep into the information? I got the info. You, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go. Why is there a rush not to believe the women? I don't know. Because there's there not, is. There's not a rush either way. I don't. But by saying way, that, but by saying it, you kind of are saying we don't believe the women. Let it not at out. all. No, I want to be very clear. What I want before I make a decision, I have to hear. It's like if you sit in on a trial. I think documentary viewing is kind of dangerous because oftentimes the producers of the documentary have an edge. Sure. Making a murderer is a perfect example of that. Right. Mm -hmm. What you saw, what you watched for however many parts that was, was the defense side of the story. Right. And 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 they painted the prosecution in a corrupt and a, you know, a, a very bad light. But there are books now that have been written by the prosecutors in that case where they point out all of the stuff they conveniently left out of the documentary. And then it gets you thinking, well, was Stephen Avery framed or is he guilty? I'm just yeah. saying there's real danger in coming to judgments on people's lives, be it the women or Deshaun Watson, I, in yeah. only having one side I, of the story. I, I like this is what, what I've learned, and, and I, I've spent four years here. I, I heard Bull jokingly say when our last president was off, he was looking for places to go. Uh, no, nah, I ain't going nowhere. My, my people built this country. We're not going nowhere. You get a new, one president in, 
We're going to live through that. We'll get another one. We'll live through that. What I learned was if you are above a certain level, there is no, you are untouchable in this country. And that's a fact. If you are Supreme Court justice, you are untouchable. If you are the president at all costs, you shall be protected and it does not matter. And what that made me do is it put, it put me in, into the into my moral compass is what I thought was the greatest moral compass in the world. And I just couldn't believe how we sat by and watched certain things happen. I'm saying, is this who we are? And it hit me. This is the reason why normal regular people say all I care about is my sports because the common man understands that they'll never be able to change that what happens at that level. So you have a, a, a binary choice. You vote for that guy or you vote for that guy. And he got 75 million people to say, yes, I believe in that even after he admitted to the assault. So that means for me as a sports fan, if I have to separate my, my, my conscious decision from something that a person that controls the fundamental rights of my life, then I have to be able to do the same thing with entertainment and a quarterback. So if I say Deshaun Watson has 25 and, and the president with launch codes has 26, I, I, I think that we all understood at this certain point in time, he doesn't really represent my moral base. He doesn't represent my moral compass. But at the end of the day, all I could do is go to work, pay my bills, worry about why gas is $5, and, and watch a game once in a while. How do you feel about that questionable but inspirational rationalization? <laughs> <laughs> it was cold, though. It was, it was dope. I thought it was It crazy. was really good. I was like, get to point B. It was really it was good. <laughs> that was. I agree 100%. It was By the shocking. Way, all, all, all the oil companies are making a ton of money right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, we're, it, and we're back in, we're back yeah. in business in Saudi Arabia, yeah. by the way. It yeah. was shocking. Yeah, how's that feel? Uh, all the allegations that he just... You know, no, nobody seemed to care. They didn't care. Amazing to me. Yeah. But, but my thing is, if you, if you have a kid, and I always love Greg Popovich because he says, people, we, we should look at it as we expect of our kids. Although why do we expect kind of a D-bag to the media. Why do like we expect, uh, that's not true. Why no, do we expect uh, more from adult, different things from adults than our kids? Or why yeah. do we expect more from our kids? If my 10-year-old went to school and came home and said, I got failed on a test because I cheated. And I said, why'd you cheat? And, she, and he or she said, well, everybody else was cheating. No. Wrong answer. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, wash that way. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what. So just because other people, you know. You, Pat, if, if my parents were sitting here, right, and they told me, even if I was innocent, my parents would say, no, you're not, because you shouldn't have been doing all that, even right. if they consented to doing it. So it gets to, and I think your point was about values, which yes. is exactly what yeah. I'm saying. What are the values that the, the, that the Cleveland Browns want to right. represent to their community and does this, even though there are allegations, not, I get it, I understand it, but look, if you read it, you, you cringe. It is cringeworthy. And, and sure. are these the things, but there the have values been other we cases, want our team to represent? There have been other cases 26, that were 24 cringe. of them? Well, I'm just saying individual cases. I'm just saying people that we as a society judged one way or another. Yeah. Did it or didn't. And we were all surprised to right. find out. And by flip, the way. They did or they didn't. It's, it's probably very likely in this 26 cases that some of them are 100% honest, mm -hmm. that some of them there's some gray area, you know, or that some of them maybe the women change their mind after it happened, and some of them are maybe totally false. There's probably a mix within even the group. And, and let's probably, be, and probably. And let's be clear. There's some people that nobody will ever say this. Some, some people do want money. I, I just want to be clear sure. about that. Some sure. people's motivation could perfectly Absolutely. well be. But it also doesn't mean that nothing happened to them. That is correct. They might have been like, well, I, you know, it was wrong what he did, but I'm not going to do anything. Oh, I have a chance to get money. Sure. This, that's the possibility. I, I look at it like this way. And this is, this is right now when the NCAA came to me and said, hey, you know, we're doing a class action lawsuit, Garrett. Concussions are a huge thing. Have you ever experienced some headaches? Kind of. I mean, who has who has it? Yeah. Do you have any aches and pains? Yeah, sure. Do you think you ever had a concussion without knowing? Yeah, possibly. Well, you you fit the description of somebody who's going to be in a class action lawsuit. Did you decide to join or not? They were you automatically are into it and I, you have to default out of it. you have to default out of it. Did you and hell yeah, I stayed in it because you don't know what will present itself down the line, right? Sure. So I'm giving you a valid thing about 
you might I'm not cognitive deficit. I don't have a cognitive deficit today. I might not be running around thinking about crazy things, <laughs> but guess what? There are pre people in that class action lawsuit that probably are perfectly fine. Never had a, a, a concussion, never had a thing in a life, but guess what? You opted in, right? It, uh, uh, I'm looking at it from this perspective. Yes, there are some women that said, well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I never really thought about that. He did have that small cloth on. Yeah, he did kind of do some weird stuff. That's kind of but was it did I think it crossed the line? Not really. But if it's if you if, if I can get 5 10 15 and he's not going to debate it. Yeah. I do it. On the other hand, there may have been situations where Deshaun Watson showed up on the table completely naked, which is inappropriate. Maybe moved his penis onto some girl's arm. Facts. She rejected him. Maybe he said, "Okay, I won't cool. do anything." No but that's already out of line. That's and, a fact too. But that's already out of line. That's a fact too. So I'm, you know, so who knows? Pat, what's your advice to Browns fans who are really <laughs> no, but really who are who are tr who are having struggling with this in the way that you do? Who just want to watch football? They just want to like their football team. They just want to, you know, they've been lifelong fans. Do you? Is your advice to them? You guys have to stop supporting this team, or else you are morally bankrupt. Well, I can't make that judgment for anybody. Right. So it's an individual choice. That's got to be what their, you're saying. Yeah, exactly. But how? What? But I would urge what, them to do some research on how women are treated. Right. Who make. Sexual assault or whatever claim. Okay. I don't know if enough assault's the right word. So they believe though that, that they believe the women and everything, but uh, so they they do. They believe um, they believe what the women are saying. They want, but they want to watch football. What do you say? You say change your team? Do you say you, you shouldn't watch football then? Or <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna I, you're not gonna watch any football? Or you're not gonna watch the Browns? You're not gonna support the. But, you know, where, where do we where do we turn is what I'm asking the people who can't handle you this. You got to make a judgment on whether or not this is the kind of the values that you want to share. I mean, yeah. if that's the okay, if that's the front can office ever, of the Browns here's, here's values. Here's my next question. Then. And can, I, I, actually, I have a hard can, time believing the coach. And GM can you ever watch the movie Jerry Maguire again? I mean, after what Harvey Weinstein did. Uh, or any movie. Well, I don't know oh, that I've ever seen Terry McGuire. Okay, well, <laughs> wow, you're the only one. An yeah. example along those lines. I'm not even sure he produced so it. So you're asking, but can like, you separate Good Will Hunting? Can artist? I watch a Harvey Weinstein Yeah, movie? can you watch a Harvey Weinstein movie? I would rather not. No. Okay, but can, but if one's on, are, do you have to leave the room because it's in, because of the allegations against him? Or because I've, of the, I've watched, uh, the crimes he committed? I've watched Kill Bill about two or three months ago, and when I saw at the end it was Weinstein, I regretted doing it. Okay, so th th this will apply to, like, all those things m moving I mean, I'm forward. I'm not the moral compass for the community. No, I'm, I'm just talking about well, my I totally personally. But for you personally, you, yeah. I mean, are you going to be able to do this across the board with things whenever something's, I mean, can you can you enjoy a movie starring, um, what's the guy from uh, The President Show? Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, I know. Spacey, Kevin Spacey. Thank Kevin, you, Kevin Spacey. Can you, can, you, can, you, can you enjoy a Kevin Spacey no, movie? You can. No, I cannot. So it, it's going to go individually do you have to like look at the credits of a movie moving forward before you can see whether to engage with it or not? And I know that I'm. It if sounds I, like I'm if, being trite. If I know Kevin Spacey's in it, I'm not going to put it on. So and that, that so that's going to go with everything for you moving forward. If somebody yeah, involved, try, I am, yeah. if try. somebody that's fine. I'm. I, I don't know you personally, but if somebody was involved in something that you consider to be morally reprehensible, then you just won't in any way engage with that product. I'll try. Yeah. What if he had a bit part? What if he only did a cameo? Did you give, <laughs> did you give him a bright light here? I, no. I, I, I know. Listen, I, yeah. I, I, I know. actually I? think yeah. Mike's, at, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Mike's asking these questions because I think you're struggling with the sure. same question that Pat struggled with. I think we all struggle with some of this stuff. Where do we walk away? with Mike on sure. this topic, and I, and I believe, actually, I do. that Mike is more closely aligned to you than it I say yes. appear. Yeah. It is a struggle. Because I, I know I, you struggle with this. And these I, are the questions I'm asking myself about I will also about say this. that I think that the Browns took it to another level with the contract. Right. They I didn't mean, just yeah. sign him. Trading they for him was one the, thing. I right. mean, you're conflicted. It's like, wow, holy yeah. smokes, yeah. I got to deal with this. And, and you know what? And that's that's, country, a, that's right. a great point because. That took it to a new level. And they I, can say, because I'm sure they would say, well, it was the only way we could make the trade. We had to extend his contract and give him a new deal. No, you don't. See, yeah. I, I, you <laughs> no, know what? You don't. I, right. I, I'm with you, Pat, and here's why. I, the first question I asked was, and I know we disagree on this, but this is just the way I processed yeah. it. Were we so bad off that we had to do this? Were we were we in that place where it, it, Trent Dilfer wasn't our starting quarterback? And the other thing too, it looked. And uh, then, sorry, didn't interrupt. Go ahead. You go to not just a big contract, an unprecedented contract, which has changed the financial landscape of an entire sport. 
So it's almost as if we said we are in an absolutely untenable situation with Baker Mayfield, which I didn't believe we were. Right. And it's so bad, we're not just going to replace him. We're going to replace him with the guy who is really under, under a lot of public scrutiny, and we're going to do so with a contract that is going to be just as surprising to the actual trade itself. That's and I, the, flash, I flash back to when the Kavanaugh hearings took place, and I, Jeff Flake, the senator from mm -hmm. Arizona, getting on the elevator, confronted by two women who had been assaulted and said, are you telling me that what happened to me doesn't matter? And, I, you know. I, the I, elevator I, shut. I, yeah, the elevator shut, and they gave a, a weak investigation. It's How is that treating women properly? Hey, and and I, I was on Jeff Flake. I said, yo, you, you going to pay attention to that? He got it out of the yeah. elevator. He did. he did help with he the tried. investigation. He tried. And then they put him on the court anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> it did, I mean, it was what. Let me, I'll tell you this. And I'll give you a quick one, and we'll get up out of here. When Colin Kaepernick was blackballed out of the NFL, there are dozens, countless black people, African Americans, minorities, that said, I will never watch the NFL again because they railroaded him and got him out of the league. He still doesn't have a job for kneeling for kneeling, which is absurd. That was absurd, yep. right? He still doesn't have a job. And then the league essentially paid him because they were likely going to lose in and, court and lost in court and got sued. I was so conflicted over that. And guess what happened? He forgot about it. Season rolled around mm -hmm. watching football. Your option was hockey, right? I'm like, why, why would he be banned essentially and this guy be rewarded? Well, here, here's the problem is you go what down Cap, this road so many what times. What Cap did was not. I, I am totally against what Chick Chick Fil A there. You know, like, I, but I've gone a couple of times. And, and here, and I, I, I could go down every business and every road. And, and I could give you. It, we, we Elon Musk has a. It paid a, a woman two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a lawsuit for sexual harassment. He's going to buy Twitter. Every single person, every corporation, every individual in our industry is not getting off Twitter at all. But I, I, get, I still get what Pat's saying. Should we just if accept Elon, that? And, if Elon you know. Musk buys it? Yeah. Yes. Let anyway, me. let's have some fun. Let's but by the way, I, <laughs> I, I, can we give him credit? I'm going to give him credit. Because not only is what he's saying, he's, he's saying how he feel, but he's standing on his principles. Right. He Respect just told that, that you yeah. have to applaud. He, he, no, he's yeah. standing on. He said if it's, if it's, I get off Twitter, if Elon Musk got it, I'm already half retired because mm -hmm. of it. If you believe that, that's a person with a moral compass, bro. If he believe in it and he walking the walk and it's taking that out of his pocket, like think about it. He's taking money out of his pocket. I can, I can rock with a person that believes in that much with conviction. And you are going to limit your that. entertainment options pretty quickly, though, just so you don't have to yeah. just sit under a tree and read a book pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy, enjoy reading. Oh, all right. right. Well, you're lost. Let me say this. There comes Pat, a uh, bull, I know I speak for you, too. Yeah. Um, we were... We were never close at ESPN, but I, I always was a fan of your work, number one. And as I would talk to others in the company about you, I always heard the same thing about Pat. One of the best guys you'll ever know. And I can, I can tell you that my personal experiences with Pat are absolutely in line with that. He, you are taking a, a position that is unpopular, and you're doing so at whatever professional peril might come along with that, but you're you're so com convicted to it that you're willing to go there. And that's the personal choice we're all making, right? We're all, it's okay for Pat to look at the body of evidence that you've seen and say, I believe the women. That's perfectly okay. That's your option. I understand why maybe G. Bush or Bull can look at it and say, I'm less inclined to believe all 24, but perhaps somewhere in the middle lies the truth, which I think we all can agree on is probably where we are. I find it impossible to believe that 26 women are, are grand conspiracy making this up. Right. But ultimately, if he's allowed to play, I want him to play. R right or wrong, that's how right. I feel about it. But I, I just want to say that I, I think it's, there's a mutual admiration and respect 100%. for what you're doing. 100%. And yes. I didn't want you to feel like you were under attack no, for coming no, no, in here and I'm sitting kidding. there. And, and, <laughs> and, and no. Yeah. Look, it's important that we discuss all sides of this issue. Mm -hmm. we, 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 you know, we're trying to hear from as many different voices on this topic as we can. And I think your voice brought value and may have brought some pause to people that are kind of on the fence, like not sure, like, I know how I should feel about this, mm -hmm. but I also know I really want my team to win. Does this make me a bad person? We're all doing those mental gymnastics, yeah. I think, as we sit here.
You just got to keep carrying those stats around, just bumming everybody out every room you go into. You're just like, did you guys want to hear some numbers? I could have like, oh, no. I keep, just I trying keep, to have a beer. Let's have some back. fun with Pat now. Let's get to yes. Judge J. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Not, no, we're not going to do Judge J because oh. we're not going to get to final. Keep, no oh. fun for you, Pat. Can we so blow? We, we just scold you and then takes. you leave. We scold you and then you leave. We have <laughs> no, we have a couple of fun final takes. Uh, okay. So I keep going back to values. That's the last thing I'm going to say. And it's our politics. It's every At a certain point, doing what's right means more than other things like money, power, or, or winning, winning a games. football game. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Truth okay. matters. Listen, I, I, uh, I respect that 100%.